We look at the explanation to an interesting sentence correction question. The usual suspects, the number agreement, pronoun, tense errors, don't seem to be there in this question. Let's quickly run through the five answer options and then see what makes sense. Despite smartphones and easy accessibility for social networks, right? See, the accessibility for social networks. Are we getting accessibility for to someone or to something? Are we giving accessibility for someone or to someone? So the accessibility can come with either the for or the to. Conveying two different meanings. When you're giving access to something, as in this case, which is like giving access to the social network, giving access to better water, giving access to better education, it should come with a to. When you're giving access to someone, it will come with a for. Accessibility for students of this particular country. Accessibility for students who are appearing for the GMAT. So if you're giving it to someone, then we'll say for someone. If you're giving access to something, we'll say to something. Here, accessibility to social network is a correct usage. Let's run through the five choices to check whether any, of, any more answer options has got accessibility for. And if so, let's eliminate that. A has got accessibility for. In B, we are having accessing social network so that for is not at all coming into picture. Same holds good with C. When it comes to D, we have access to social networks. It actually is using it in the right sense. And when it comes to E, we have accessibility for social networks. So we have access to social networks is a correct usage. We can eliminate answer choices A and D on account of this. Accessibility to is a correct idiomatic usage for this context. So eliminate choices A and D, 40% over. We have just three more left. We'll have to figure out one which is right between, among these three. So look at B. Although having smartphones and accessing social networks easily, one other thing I find in any of these things, if a long sentence is troubling us, let's remove whatever is not needed. I'm going to do that. Almost half of this is not needed, right? Although having smartphones and accessing social networks easily, millennials, that's relevant. And we are defining who these millennials are. I don't want that either, right? Are feeling isolated is enough and lonely. Let's leave it. I'm just eliminating all of these so I can figure out what is right with this option or incorrect with this option, right? Although having smartphones and accessing social networks easily, millennials are feeling isolated. Although having is creating a trouble. So what we can do is let's see if we can frame it in a slightly different. Right now it's in a progressive form. Let's try and frame it in a simple present form or a present perfect form and check out whether it makes sense. Making these modifications and adjustments help us identify what is wrong with this if it is troubling you. Let me make it from a progressive to something like this. Although they, although have smartphones will not be right. Although they have smartphones and access social networks easily is how I would have worded it. So what would have been the equivalent right wording here? I should have said that although they are having smartphones and accessing social networks and are accessing social networks is how I should have worded it. So what is missing? The day is missing. Millennials is missing. Note this. This is the rule. This is what we should know. If you had not known that, do the substitution the way I did it. Although and even though need both a subject and a verb. So if we correct it as follows, although they are having, right? So the they brings in the subject, are having brings in the verb for us. That would have been the correct usage. So choice B can also be eliminated because it does not have a subject. Let's move on to C. Despite them using smartphones and easily accessing social networks, millennials are feeling isolated. The relevant part that we want is this. Despite them is troubling me. Actually, I would have typically used it as despite using smartphones and easily accessing social networks, millennials. So the entire thing is a modifier. What is it modifying? Who are using this? Who are accessing the social networks? Millennials. It's referring to the right subject. The them is causing the trouble. Why? Despite and in spite of, they always refer to the noun or the subject immediately after them. Here the despite refers to them. So we are essentially saying despite millennials, what it should have actually referred to is despite the usage of the smartphones is what it should have referred to. In this case, when you remove the them, let's see if it makes sense. We are removing the them, then we are talking about despite using. Note in this case, the using is not used as a verb. Using actually comes in the gerund form, in the noun form. Ideally, I would have used despite they, their usage of smartphones is how I would have said despite using smartphones in this context comes in that fact, in that sense. One other way we could have corrected it is in a slightly lengthy word at wordy way, which is if I had managed to say it this way, despite the fact that they use smartphones, would have been absolutely all right. The despite is actually now referring to the fact of using smartphones. So there it is referring to a subject. It is not referring to millennials. It is referring to the fact of using it. That would have been a correct usage because there is not there. Them here is not, should not be there. Choice C is also incorrect. 
So what does it leave us with? That leaves us with choice D. That should be the correct answer. Let's read it once and check whether it makes sense. Despite their smartphones, despite it's referring to a subject, which subject? It's referring to the smartphone. Whose smartphone? It's referring to the millennial smartphones. Despite their smartphones, making access to social networks easy. Millennials are feeling isolated. The modifier is referring to the millennials, which is what it should be doing. And the correct answer is choice D. Before you leave, do two things. Sign up as a trial user at wzkwo.in slash core. Start with statistics and average. It's a free topic. Use this topic to get used to the teaching methodology UI UX. Once you've completed this topic, convert this trial user into a paid user and get access to the remaining 18 topics. Lastly, subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash and spread the word among your friends who are preparing for the GMAT.